Hi guys, it's Alyssa. I am here with another reading for you today. So today's reading is one that we have addressed before, but I think it's a subject that's worth revisiting from time to time um, because the energies uh, are always changing and that is about whether you are going to hear from your person of interest or not. So obviously this is geared more towards people who are in separation or no contact situations. Um, or maybe you just have somebody who is no longer in your life and you're just curious about whether they're going to pop back up again. And if applicable, we're going to try to look at roughly when that might happen. So we have three decks of cards to choose from. The first one is the Santa Muerte Tarot. And for this, we have this little piece of rose quartz. For group two, we have the Rider Waite Smith deck and clear quartz. And for group three, we have the Kawaii Tarot with orange calcite. So I will give you guys a moment to make your choices and then we will get started. All right, so deck number one. Will you hear from your person? Okay, so the very first card that is coming out here is the Knight of Swords. Um, that's pretty promising, just right off the bat, because I mean, the Knight of Swords is really strongly associated with, like, communication and messages. We have the Six of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Queen of Cups. Death. And let's get one more. The Two of Cups. Isn't that lovely? Okay. So, um, I mean, yes. <laughs> uh, it definitely looks like this person is going to make a comeback in your life. Um, and I feel like... Hmm. Let me get an Oracle card as well. Okay, we have higher power and deep knowing. All right, so um, like I said, I'm, I'm definitely getting a big, big yes here with this reading. Um, like I said, with the Knight of Swords, this is right away a really good indicator that somebody is going to be communicating with somebody else. Um, like I said, Knight of Swords relates to communication, it relates to messages. Um, Swords in general have those associations, but especially the knight, because knights, um, I mean, all of the knights have that connection to offers, messages. You know, knights are people who are on the move. They're, um, they're always busy. They've got places to be and people to talk to. Um, so the knight of swords in particular is definitely a pretty good omen of contact happening. Um, I always like to point out the image on this card in particular. You can see the knight here has a sword in his throat, um, which presumably if you had a sword in your throat, you'd have a hard time speaking. Uh, but it looks as if he's pulling it out. So it's kind of like, you know, the knight coming forward, he's appearing, he's removing the sword from his throat so that he can speak his truth, so that he can say something that he's been wanting to say for, you know, maybe some time now that he just didn't have the strength or the courage or the opportunity to say before. 
Um, the Six of Wands, this is about movement, it's about victory, success, recognition. Um, so right away, you know, this card just on its own is a really good um, indicator that something something is something good is coming your way um so you know if if you've been like hoping to hear from this person again then you know this is this is saying to me that that person is going to be coming towards you i do feel like you know if you've been feeling kind of ignored by this person you know, that recognition aspect, this is saying that they're going to recognize you. They're going to acknowledge you after, you know, however long it's been that you've been, you know, maybe wishing for that. The Seven of Pentacles here is um, telling me that they've been contemplating this for some time. The Seven of Pentacles really talks about future planning. It talks about somebody, you know, kind of looking back on where they've come from. And in light of that, evaluating how they're going to move forward. This is really, you know, this card to me is the planner card. Uh, this is someone who's deliberate. This is someone who is really intentionally um, trying to plot their next step. Okay, so I see this as whoever you're thinking of, they've been thinking about this for a long time. Um, Pentacles also are slow moving energy. Uh, and this card in particular also can represent, you know, some kind of weight need for patience, something that is taking a long time, something that's been a long time in the works. Um, so, like I said, it seems to me like your person has been contemplating this for a long time, or honestly, I think intending to do this for some time, because pentacles, like I said, they're earth energy, and that relates to the physical, that relates to something that is tangible, material things, like real solid physical action. Um, so this isn't just your person thinking about it, this is your person intending on it. Now, you know, just because somebody intends to do something doesn't necessarily mean that they will in the end, but as of right now, Reaching out to you is something that they have every intention of doing. Um, it seems to me like they've been waiting. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Um, it's almost like they've been waiting until they felt or until they feel like the moment is right. Which is kind of interesting. Um... The Deep Knowing card talks about intuition. It talks about listening to your gut. So it's kind of like whoever you're thinking of has been, you know, like I said, intending to reach out to you, but they've been putting it off because it's like they're waiting for the right moment. They're waiting until it feels like, you know, the time is now. Um, so, so they're kind of waiting on, like, some intuitive push to do it which is kind of interesting. And the higher power card also, you know, to an extent relates to intuition. This card is um, really kind of self-explanatory. It's associated with the powers, the higher powers, um, spirit, God, uh, divine, divine guidance, divine timing. Those concepts um, are what this card talks about. So, um, it really seems to me like this, your connection to this person that, that you're asking about here, um, definitely seems to be divinely guided in some way. I mean, just because of these two cards, but also we have the Queen of Cups here, which can represent soul connections, um, psychic connections, energetic connections, really strong bonds between people, basically. And the Two of Cups is considered to be one of the soulmate cards as well. Um, death, I also associate with that type of thing. Um, 
death is really about transformation it's about endings and new beginnings okay it's about cycles um this card is showing me that this period of separation this period of no contact is going to come to an end um and from that a new cycle a new phase within this connection is going to be born all right um the Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups, they both uh, have that, both of these cards have a very gentle, very loving kind of energy, okay? Both of these cards are associated with unconditional love. Um, the Two of Cups in particular is about union, partnerships, um, harmony, these are, you know, this is two people who are really on the same page about something. And the Queen of Cups, to me, um, in this deck in particular, often represents some kind of offer being made. Um, because you can see she's kind of like extending this heart out to the viewer. So it's like she's offering her love. You know, she's offering something towards you. So I I feel as though this person definitely is going to reach out to you. I honestly feel like this is going to happen around Christmas time. Um, and I think when they do, it's going to be the start of a new phase, like I said, a new cycle within this connection. Um, one of more consistent communication. And I also feel as though some type of union definitely could... Um, come out of this uh, because of the Two of Cups and also, like I said, with the Queen of Cups, it seems to me like they're going to be making you... It, it's like they're not just going to be reaching out to you. I feel like they're also going to be wanting to make you an offer to reconcile, to like start fresh or start new. There's a fly in here. Oh my god. Um, I, I'm getting start new specifically for some of you because... Because um, for some of you, this is not somebody that you've technically been with before. I mean, this definitely seems to be a, a romantic interest, a former love interest. Um, but for some of you, I don't feel that this is anybody you've actually been in a relationship with before. It was kind of like something that never had a chance to get off the ground. Um, so that's why there's they're making a distinction. For some of you, it's going to be a fresh start. For others, it's going to be a new start. Does that make sense? Um, I don't know. They just wanted me to say that. So, group one... I definitely see that your person has every intention right now of doing this. Um, and like I said, I, I'm getting Christmas time. I'm not really getting that from any specific card here, but it's like collectively the energy here is seems to be pointing to, you know, like late December. Um, it's actually possible that the holidays, um, it's going to make them feel kind of, I want to say, I want to say they're going to be feeling a little bit lonely. Um, I think a lot of people, especially single people around the holiday season, like get into that energy of like, man, I wish I had somebody to, you know, share this with. I wish I had somebody to snuggle up to on these cold winter nights. Um, I, I just feel like your person's going to kind of get into that sort of mode. And that's going to kind of prompt them to take some action towards you. Um, which is kind of funny, I guess. But yeah, group one, I am definitely seeing some contact coming your way, and relatively soon. So um, that's really all I'm getting for you guys today. I hope this was interesting. I hope this resonated with you and your situation. Um, if not, maybe try a different pile. This is just a general reading. It's based on the strongest collective energy between those of you who chose this group. Um, 
So thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that I see you guys next time. We are going to move on now to deck two, which was the Rider and Weight deck with the clear quartz. So deck two people, let's see if you are going to be hearing from your person. We have the three of pentacles falling out right away. We have the four of cups. Whoa. Three of wands, six of pentacles. And the two of wands and the queen of cups. So um, group one also got the queen of cups. Let me get one oracle card for you guys, one or two, we'll see. We have to the sea, okay. So, um, group two. This to me looks like your person that you're thinking of at this point in time is not really in a place where they are like, I think ready to reach out or willing to reach out. It seems to me like they're very focused on other things right now, not it's it's kind of, I don't want to say that they're not thinking about your connection at all, um, but it seems to be, it, it seems like communicating with you is fairly low on their list of priorities right now. Um, and I get that because the Four of Cups here, it talks about disappointment. It can also talk about apathy, boredom. Um, it has a very kind of just meh sort of energy. You can see this person in this card here is being offered a cup. They have no interest in it. They're looking down at the ground. They're not even looking at the cups they already have in front of them. Um, so, you know, there's just this very like blah, disinterested kind of vibe with this card. Um, it seems like the person that you're thinking about is really preoccupied right now with, I want to say with their, I want to say their physical or material circumstances. We do have the three of pentacles and the six of pentacles. Pentacles really uh, relate to material things, work, finances, um, home life. And so, I get the impression that that is that type of thing is is much uh, much higher on their list of priorities right now. Um, the Three of Pentacles talks about building something up. It talks about working, you know, working together with other people um, in order to build something from the ground up, or rebuild something that has kind of fallen apart or is possibly, you know, on the verge of falling apart. Um, there is a little bit of like a preventative kind of quality to this, particularly in this circ, uh, this, um, this case. And the Six of Pentacles is really about balance and, you know, trying to achieve balance in a situation. It also is related to generosity, reciprocation, and equal give and take. Um, it feels as though your person has experienced some instability and possibly some difficult change in the recent past and they're trying to rebuild from it or they're trying to, you know, restabilize themselves, okay? Um, the Three of Wands here, this is basically telling me that um, they're 
their thoughts really lie elsewhere right now. You can see this person is kind of looking out over the water, thinking about thinking about what all is out there, thinking about the possibilities, thinking about, you know, everything except for the matter at hand, which is, are they going to reach out to you? And the Two of Wands is quite a similar, uh, quite a similar energy. There's, again, this feeling of preoccupation with this card. Um, it This does, though, often represent a choice or a decision that's already been made. Um, and the Three of Wands, you know, following that can indicate that, you know, somebody is waiting for something, waiting for the right moment to do something or waiting for something to happen. Um, it does seem to me like your person... Uh, would like to contact you at some point in time, but I don't see them doing that at any point in the near future. Um, to the sea, this card is really about just kind of going with the flow, moving forward with your life, seeing what happens, seeing where things lead, uh, you know, remaining open to whatever comes your way. Um, so they're definitely open to reaching out to you. I, again, I feel like they would like to at some point. They just don't really have any solid intentions of doing that right now. Okay. Um, can I get a clarifier for the Queen of Cups, please? That's too many cards. We have the Ace of Wands. So the Ace of Wands talks about new beginnings, um, particularly, you know, this is a very passionate, excited, enthusiastic kind of energy. The Queen of Cups, I, you know, I relate this card a lot to unconditional love. This is a very gentle, loving, kind of motherly sort of energy to me. Um, this card also can talk about psychic connections, really strong emotional bonds between people. Um, these two cards together, I mean, it, yeah, it seems like, I don't feel that this person has any hard feelings towards you. I don't feel that this person has any resentment. You know, like I said, they're not closed off to that. They're not closed off to the idea of communicating with you. Um, okay, 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 okay. I, I think that what these two cards are talking about is that, you know, at this point in time, you know, they just are wishing you the best. They are hoping that, you know, you're moving forward with your life and that, that you're happy and content. Um, at this point in time, they're kind of feeling like they don't really have a place in your life right now. Um, they, it, it seems to me like they just want to kind of leave you, leave you be, um, and, and let you do your thing. Uh, because I get this sense that from their perspective, they think that coming forward would throw you off. They think that it would be inconvenient to you or, you know, that it might start something. Um, and they don't want that, you know, right now they just want, they want the best for you. They want for you to move forward with your life and do your thing and chase your dreams and all of that good stuff. And they're trying to do the same thing. Um, so it's, it's really just this energy of like, you know, I'm, I'm wishing you all the best, but uh, we're, we're going in different directions right now. That's what I get from your person. So, um, like I said, this doesn't mean that they're never going to contact you. I just don't see it happening soon. I don't see them uh, really having any intention of doing that at this point in time. Okay. But it could totally change in the future. So group two, that's what I have for you guys right now. I hope that this resonated. Um, 
If not, sorry, maybe choose a different pile. Um, these are just general readings, so they're not going to resonate with everyone who sees them. Take what applies to you in your situation and leave the rest behind. Um, thank you so much for joining me today. I think that's going to do it for you guys, group two. Uh, I hope I see you next time. And lastly, we have here group number three. So group three, are you ever, are you going to hear from your person again? Is group three going to hear from their person again? Blue. We have the Ace of Cups, we have Strength. Okay, pretty promising cards. sun. Um, the sun card to me, particularly if, if I'm asking like a yes or no question, the sun is like a big, big yes. Uh, because the sun is really about wish fulfillment. It's about having everything, oh, three of swords. It's about having everything that you want come about. It's about, you know, having all of your needs met, having all of your desires brought to you. Um, let's get one more. Okay, or two. Okay, Ace of Swords, Five of Cups. All right, and let me get one Oracle card. Okay, we have two here. Um, so you guys, group three, have more cards than any of the other groups got. So I, I guess you're special. Um, we've got mending and we have a leg up in the reverse. Okay. I do feel that this person is gonna reach out to you. The timing, mm, it's iffy. Um, but I do feel like it's going to happen because we've got the sun here. We also have the ace of swords. This card to me is, I, I mean, generally speaking, the ace of swords is about new beginning, uh, especially related to communication, insight, truth. Um, this to me is a message being brought forth. Okay. A new beginning to contact, to communication to this person. Um, like I was saying with the sun card, this is about, you know, wish fulfillment. This is warm, happy, positive, radiant energy. Um, this is like everything being a-okay. Um, so particularly if you are hoping to hear from this person again, this is a pretty good sign that that will happen. Um, also the ace of cups here. Again, this is a new beginning with it being an ace, and the Ace of Cups in particular is associated with relationships, emotions, um, so it's kind of like a new start to a relationship, a new relationship beginning, you know, something along those lines. Uh, I also see this as somebody like extending their feelings towards someone else, kind of like offering them you know, offering somebody like their cup of love and saying, you know, do you, do you want this? Um, <laughs> I, I feel as though your person right now is not really in a great place. As in their emotional or like mental state seems to be kind of it, it feels like they're they're just feeling kind of low. And I say that because we have the Three of Swords and we also have the Five of Cups. We also have the this card, a leg up reversed and mending. Um, these two cards here specifically are related to, you know, grief, loss, sadness. Um, the Five of Cups 
usually indicates that somebody is really fixated on the negatives in a situation. They're not paying attention to what's going right. They're not paying attention to the positives. They're just looking at what's gone wrong. I feel like your person has a lot of guilt and a lot of regret related to you, related to something that happened between you. I get the sense that your person feels like they really, really like screwed your relationship up. Um, and they're still regretting it. And some of you might be thinking like, it's been a minute since, you know, it's been a minute since this person left my life. Are they still upset about it? And I think the answer to that is yes. Um, I get the sense that this person has, has not been able to let go of this. They are regretting their choices, they're regretting their actions. Um, and at this point in time, that's really what's holding them back from talking to you. They just feel like shit. That's, that's the reason they're not speaking to you right now. Um, however, with the strength card here, I do see them overcoming these feelings kind of pulling themselves out of this pit of self-pity that they're just wallowing in, um, pulling themselves out of that state and just, you know, kind of sucking it up like, you know what, I'm over it. Like, yes, I did a stupid thing, but it's time to, it, it's time to move on from it. You know what I'm saying? Um, so, so that's what this card's talking about because strength is really about overcoming obstacles, facing adversity. Um, it's also about resilience, endurance. It's like bouncing back. Um, so I think that your person is going to pull themselves out of this energy, this very like remorseful, pitiful kind of energy that they're in right now. Please go away. Oh my god, there's a fly in here. Sorry. Um, um, and the, the mending card here, this is about healing. This is about basically stitching yourself back together, your person, stitching themselves back together. Um, making the choice, I think, to help themselves in this situation. Because Alega really talks about help. It talks about asking for help, receiving help, um, giving help to someone else. When it's in the reverse, a lot of times, you know, it comes up in situations where somebody is reluctant to ask for assistance. Like, they don't want to be helped. They, they think either, you know, either they think that they can do whatever on their own or they don't really want to get out of their current situation so this is telling me that you know right now your person is in this five of swords three of cups kind of energy and at this point in time they don't really um they're content to just kind of wallow in that um which is kind of sad but I do see them, like I said, pulling themselves out of it, healing from it, moving on from it. And when that happens, that's when this contact is going to come in. We also have the Empress here right in the, right in the center of this little spread. Um, the Empress is related to unconditional love. This is uh, also wish fulfillment. This is like manifesting desires. So again, like I was saying with the sun, if you've been hoping to hear from this person again, this is another really good sign that that's going to happen. Um, the Empress here is, is saying that there is a lot of potential for this connection to this person that you have. There's a lot of potential there that never had the chance to go anywhere or to become anything. And so when they do come back, 
you're going to have that opportunity to seize that potential that exists. Um, strength and mending are not just talking about your person overcoming their own internal conflict, but they're also talking about the two of you overcoming the obstacles that impacted your relationship to each other and healing from them together. Okay, um, so yes, I definitely see communication happening. However, like I said at the start, the timing is, I'm, I'm not really, I'm not really getting that this is going to happen soon. Just because it feels like your person is really not in, in a state of mind where they want to do that. Um, they got to get out of that state of mind first. And it really is going to just depend on when they do, you know, when they make the choice to just kind of let it go. Um, for a lot of you, I'm feeling, I don't know, February is coming to mind. So for a number of you, um, this, this communication might happen during the month of February. For others of you, it's going to be later. But I do feel like it's going to be... Okay. Sorry about this, like, long, awkward pause. <laughs> um... So, okay, for some of you, this is going to be happening in February. For others of you, and, and it seems to be like 50-50. So like half the people watching this are going to hear from this person in February. The other half are going to hear from them later. Um, but I feel like for those of you who don't hear, this, hear from this person in February, it's going to come around mid next year. So like mid 2020, May, June, July, around that time. Okay, um, that's what I've got for you guys, group three. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this resonated with you. And um, thank you so much for joining me. I apologize for my outburst at that fly a few minutes ago. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks for watching. I hope I see you next time. Bye.